Hello, good evening and welcome to the business news segment on News 360. My name is Martin Nesiru Dat, and as we always say here, your business is my business. Now, uh, coming up, you know, a number of issues developing ahead of tomorrow's State of the Nation address to be uh, given by the President to Parliament. And before that, the Institute of Economic Affairs has released a statement and out of it, it is a survey and they say that the seat of government or the office of the president is the second most corrupt institution in the country. And we want to dig a little further on this particular issue. We have been joined on the line by the executive director of the Ghana uh, Integrity Initiative, Vita Sazim, to find out really how this plays out in government's fight against corruption. Good evening, sir, and thank you very much for your time. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm sure you've heard uh, the survey that has been released by the IEA. And uh, what do you uh, make of it vis-a-vis uh, -vis government's attempt or government's continuous fight uh, as it claims that it is fighting corruption in the country? Well, if that is the perception of Ghanaians, if this will, uh, will reflect the perception of Ghanaians, definitely it's not a good, a good thing. It means that government is not failing uh, in its fight against corruption and that he needs to sit up and do something more serious about it. But here is the case, uh, the sample size is just about 1,200, and do you think that this is enough to state the position of the entire country? Well, it may not be enough. It is definitely not enough uh, for a 26 million uh, population. But that is what maybe the IEA had the power, the capacity to do. And so if... Uh, you take 1,200 spread across the country, you can see that there's some amount of truth in it. It's not 100%. It may not even be 50%. But it gives an idea about people's perception of corruption within the public institutions in this country. And it should not just be disregarded. It is an indication that there are certain people, no matter how small they are, that think that corruption is a serious matter, especially in certain institutions that are supposed to ensure that corruption does not uh, succeed. And the, the number one position obviously has again been given to the Ghana Police Service. And now this is the very first time that the seat of government has been brought into this issue or this particular debate of corruption. And going forward, how does that play out if government then comes out to say that they are fighting corruption? Do you think that it is going to dent their image and people are going to criticize or question that attempt from government? Well, that may be the case. But the point is that if you say you are fighting corruption... You have to show, live by example. People have to see that there's no corruption within you yourself. But if people perceive that there's corruption within you yourself, then you're not going to succeed in the fight against corruption. And then you have to decide whether you want to succeed in the fight against corruption and make sure that you give the correct leadership or you give up in the fight against corruption and get involved in what the rest of the people are doing. And that is not a good thing for this country. So this, these surveys are just meant to let the authorities realize that this is how the people outside in the streets are viewing them. And it's not a good image. They need to do something about it. All right. Thank you very much. We'd have to leave it here for now. Vita Sazim is the executive director of the Ghana Integrity Initiative, uh, sharing his thoughts on the IEA's uh, survey that it released today, saying the presidency is the second most corrupt institution in the country. Uh, that is a debate that will continue. But still in business, some analysts are worried that the country's increasing debt stock will be difficult to repay as scheduled. Last year, State of the Nation Address sought to reduce the debt to GDP ratio which stood at 52%. It has rather shot up to 67.1%. To in its 2014 State of the Nation Address, President John Tramani Mahama stated that growth continued to be robust at an estimated 7.4% of GDP, which was to be maintained and grow at about 8%. He promised to reduce the debt-to-GDP ratio, which stood at 52%, as at February 2015, the debt-to-GDP ratio is 67.1%. The total public debt has also increased to 76.1 billion Ghana cities, up from 51.9 billion Ghana cities. This means government borrowed 24.2 billion Ghana cities last year alone. The country's domestic debt hit 34.6 billion Ghana cities, an equivalent of 30.5% GDP, up from 26.7 billion Ghana cities recorded in 2013 at 28%. 
while external debt stood at 13 billion US dollars, being 36.6% of GDP at the end of 2014, up from 11.5 billion dollars, representing 26.9% of GDP recorded in 2013. The increase in debt stock is as a result of trying to do much in a short time, insufficient internally generated revenue and low productivity. The worrying situation is a 25 to 26 percent high interest rate on the nation's debt. Nigeria is lending at about 17 percent. If you go to Kenya, the lending rate is about 15 percent. And many African countries, it's about 10, 15 thereabout. So if for Ghana alone, for all the things that we said we count ourselves of, we are lending at 30 percent, then Definitely, we, we cannot pat our shoulders and say we are doing well. But the reality is that it is over 60 percent, and that the, it is not sustainable. And given the structure of our economy, such a debt level is not too good for the growth or the health of the economy. But what is real is that as we have entered the middle income industry, uh, uh, status, many of the public debts will no longer come, and we could no longer contain, continue to have. Uh, loans on uh, uh, concessionary uh, rates. We now have to have loans at the market rate, at the commercial uh, rates. Critics have warned Ghana's continuous appetite for borrowing will push it to soon become a highly indebted poor country. So that's it for business on News 360. Thank you very much for doing the viewing. My name is Martin Desidudati. Visit our website, tv3network.com, for more news. Do have a pleasant evening.